Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Ever since I picked up my 6.5 Grendel, you guys have been saying compare it to the 6.5 Creedmoor. So that's what we're going to do today. Highly, highly requested video. Clay blocks, 100 yards with the 6.5 Grendel versus the 6.5 Creedmoor. You can see the Creedmoor is quite a bit longer there. I'll show you up close here real quick. But clay blocks, 100 yards, the Grendel versus the Creedmoor. Let me show you the bang bangs and the boo lights we're slinging here. Then we're going to go to 100 yards, see what happens. There's a closer look there. The Grendel is the shorter one. The Creedmoor is the bigger one on top. But what are these? We got some matching ammo here today. Why did I pick this? Well, it's because the only factory ammo that I had in the Creedmoor and the Grendel that matched. So we've got the Hornady Black out here. The Creedmoor is 140 gram. The Grendel is 123 gram. I've got matching Ruger American Predators. Same barrel length, same everything. Only difference is I've got a Crimson Trace scope on the Grendel and an older Nikon. What is this? Pro Staff. P3 on the Creedmoor, but should be pretty cool. Let's look at the muzzle velocities real quick while we're standing here looking at the boxes. So the Creedmoor is saying almost 2,700 feet per second. The Grendel, I don't think it's too much slower. The Grendel is saying almost 2,600. Almost similar muzzle velocities. The Grendel is only lacking just over 100 feet per second, but. Let's go back to 100, sling them at this clay, and see what happens. I'm pretty sure both of those blocks are going to disappear, but we'll see which one disappears more better. Let's see what happens. All right, here's a 6.5 Creedmoor Hornady Black on the clay here. dead center to me. Man, a piece of that flew sky high. Let's go check it out. Alright, so there's our table up there. And we've already got clay way back here. Way back here. All the way back here. And that's 10 yards where we were flinging it that way and the clay came back this way. More there. More there. Big old chunk there five yards away that is the chunk that went sky high almost landed on my camera down here and a bunch down here below that camera and then we go up to the actual table what do we got here it was sitting right there we got a little bitty piece there and a little bitty streak here and the rest of it is gone it looked like most of it actually went forward instead of backwards, which is kind of crazy. Not a whole lot there for us to judge the aftermath, but hopefully the slow-mo footage will help us decide between the Creedmoor and the Grendel. That Creedmoor, woo! Uh, it, it put a hurting on that clay. Let's go do the same thing, same size piece of clay. Grab the Grendel and let's sling it, see what happens. All right, here we go, same thing. Sip with the 6.5 Grendel on the clay. I think I like this Grendel better than I like the Creedmoor. Let's see what happens. That stuff had some hang time on it too. Let's go check it out, see what happens. All right, so walking up to it, looks like we got some pretty similar results. Not a whole lot left. I think that's new on the ground. That was from the Creedmoor. But just little bitty giblets everywhere. We got some more over on the fence over there. But we come up here to the table, a little bit different. We've got like confetti of clay all over the table 
and then a big old flat piece here probably the bottom that just got pancaked and then it exploded a bunch of splody bits out there maybe the slow motion will give us a little bit better idea what happened a little bit there beside the table too from the grindle but hey from that I really don't know what to tell you there's the brass there from the Creedmoor the taller one and the Grendel a little bit shorter one close to the same velocities both six fives I think the Creedmoor you can get a little bit longer boo lot some higher BC's but hey end of the day they're pretty close kinda comment down below which one's your favorite I think I'm going with the Grendel just because it's new to me and I'm having a whole lot of fun with it super low recoil even less recoil than the 6.5 Creedmoor. But hey, comment down below which one you like best. Big shout out and a big thanks to our friends at Heavy Metal. Y'all make sure you're subscribed to them and us. Tons more really fun videos on the way. Appreciate y'all. Comment down below what you want to see next time. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo! Oh.